God, as we repent on the behalf of the people in this country for the wrongs that we have done, for the sin that we have been committing, Lord God, for the things that are angering the Lord, for idolatry even now, for working witchcraft even now, for being a rebellious nation. Lord God, we look to you the hills from where all hell come from, all hell coming from the Lord. And you, Lord God, you are saying that we are a stubborn people, a rebellious nation filled with idolatry in our hearts. If it is not the ministers we see on TV, it is the entertainers. If it is not the entertainers, it is ourselves. If it is not self, it is money. If it is not money, it is our jobs. Lord God, you're saying that there's so many things that are taking precedence over you and over communicating and developing a relationship with you. Oh Lord, we repent. Lord, we repent for the ministers out there, mighty God, who are not of you, who are leading your people, mighty God. We pray, Lord God, that they will hear your cries, hear your word, turn, Lord God, develop a relationship with you and teach their congregants the things that they need to learn teach them the word mighty god i pray that they will ask the holy spirit to come within them after repentance lord god mighty god you send your word if your people are called by your name would just humble themselves lord god would seek your face and turn from their wicked ways lord god that you will hear from heaven and you will heal our land Lord, we pray, Lord God, that your people, mighty God, in the strongholds of this nation, your people all across Jamaica, will hear your instructions, hear your word, hear your call, and that we will bow down before you, before the King of Kings, before the Lord of Lords, before the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. We pray that they will bow down and worship the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. They will bow down and worship even now, mighty God. God, Adonai, Akatarava, Seketeri, I am Lord God, and they will realize that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords and the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, and that there is no other God who is as powerful as the Almighty Creator. There is no other God who loves us so much to want to see our souls saved. All the gods of this earth, they are idols. All the gods of this earth just want to be worshipped, but they do not have the capacity and the omnipotence of the Most High God. The Most High God created these angels who rebelled and were thrown out of heaven, and they became fallen angels, and they, they want to be worshipped as God. And we humans with our ignorance are worshipping them as gods. And we see that Abako Sende, them being led by Lucifer, the leader of the army, but there are so many that we don't even know about who come to speak to us, who come to Abako Sete, and want us to get things from them they even teach people negative stuff and people think that because of their superior intelligence because of the intelligence of man because they are dealing with the demonic that they are strong and that they are powerful and that they are omnipotent and omniscient they are fooled they are bamboos they are hoodwinked they are stupid foolish 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 man foolish to worship dumb idols and the gods of the earth i'm seeing like the greek and roman gods and these statues of old and god is saying in today's day and age when we have so much information and we can go and see god for himself we are not seeking the truth we are seeking what man is saying and not seeking the real truth. What is the truth? I am the Lord thy God. I am light and I am truth. I am the truth. And who the Son set free is free indeed, says the Lord. If you seek the truth, 
you will find it, see the truth and the life and the light of this world. And he says, who the son set free is free indeed. But there are so many who are in bondage. We are in bondage, he says. And when will the people hear and turn? My heart, he says, is so concerned. He's showing me downtown again. He says, my heart is overwhelmed with even the cries of the people in this nation who are so upset because their girls are being raped and their children are being sacrificed and there's some who can't even open their mouth and say anything because they know what is happening through the gang leaders in this country the gangs that have gone rampant the gangs that are killing people maiming and their spiritual enslavement happening too said the lord things aren't as the day of old but the same practices are happening but in just a slightly different way and a lot of the traps and the snares he says are spiritual spiritual warfare has held down this nation for too long and i have promised that my nation jamaica whom i love should bloom and should shine i have promised that my nation jamaica should be a safe haven says the lord i have promised says the lord many things but how can i establish my establish my word in this rubble in this mess how can I establish in this mess synagogue of Satan's? And he's just showing some little strongholds. There is, there's just too much negative happening in these places, says the Lord. And I can no longer continue to allow these things to happen. I am doing a purging. So we will let nature have its way, says the Lord, as I do the purging. There are people in these communities that I will speak to who will hear and know what to do. And some in these communities will leave when the time come. Don't be afraid, says the Lord, for I am your God. I am your God. You are my people. There will always be a remnant, says the Lord. When there is a disaster, there is always a remnant to testify about the goodness of the Lord and about what happened to share the story. And he keeps taking me to the same place. He's not even showing, this time he's not even showing me like down waterfront side and so forth. He keeps showing me West Kingston. <laughs> And keep saying that his heart is bleeding for the people of West Kingston. If my people are called by my name, we just humble themselves. We pray for the people in Western Kingston and in the eastern side of Jamaica, especially those on the coast. We pray that you will repent, you will turn, you will accept jesus christ as lord and savior of your life choose him today tell the lord that you would like him to be the lord and savior of your life and invite the holy spirit into your heart and stop doing the gambling stop hanging out in these places drinking a special and 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 and, and working witchcraft doing these practices ancestral practices that you don't know and understand where they're coming from the young people are following these practices that they don't know bring curses on them. It brings curses on them, said the Lord. Young people, wise up. Stop following these idolaters who are entertainers. Stop following these idolaters who are telling you where to go and get rubbed up and guard up on these things. Stop cursing yourselves, your household, your families, and your generation, people. Stop 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 because the lord is saying he is hurting he is god but he has emotions 
here i'm still downtown in another little area there near commercial carnation market that's the area where i am down at tivoli side down the south <laughs> Bring in the scripture why do they hear the rage why do they hear the rage that scripture and he's saying we need to put our trust in the lord in this time and whether or not people like this we're we're gonna have to go downtown we're gonna have to go downtown and pray for the people even those in the markets because he said there will be flooding in the market and not just ordinary flooding is whoa the image that he just showed me was water coming all the way up to the roof for carnation market just a little part of the roof is left i don't know how feasible that is because if water come that high that means that several other buildings in and around Kingston going to be inundated. Jesus of mercy. And God is saying this is the level of disaster that he's talking about. How are people going to get out of that? He's saying even if you can swim. How are, how are they going to get out of that if you're in that area when the thing hits? You understand? You can't see nothing. You can't. Oh, you won't see to even get your way out of there. We need to go in and evangelize and ask people to give their life to the Lord. People down in downtown. Mighty God, we go 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 to do do shake it there be say there be. The time is now, and I have asked you to fast and pray for this reason, because of the season of judgment and everything is timely. You see, e e e. This say go to do go send there. This is an act of love again. I'm saying to the people of Jamaica. This is an act of love to warn you and tell you to give your life because you see, even if we don't make it in this life, we the, the, the next life is so important. You understand? Because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And you know, what harm would it do to safeguard yourself? If nothing happens, praise God, right? If nothing happens, you praise God, you get to live your life. But when you have your relationship with Lord, you get to live your life both in this life and the next. If you don't have a relationship with Lord, you will be cut off, you'll be severed from God. That is what true death means. That's what it means. It don't mean your spirit leaving your body. It means being separated from the Lord. And those who trust in me are like Mount Zion, he says. So even in the face of adversity, they will do what I ask. There are people who are feeling right now. The righteous indignation, he says. The, the mute a bit. Yeah, the, the background is, is distracting. So, Evangelist, mute a minute, please. Mute a bit. There are people who, let me take out the earpiece. There are people right now, he says, who he's speaking to their hearts. And they know that what is being said is true. There are people who have gotten dreams for years about what is to come. Even people in the communities. They have gotten the dreams. They have gotten the word. And he's saying, these are my true people. He's not talking about, yes, there are people who are fear mongering. But are they coming with the word about the love of God? 
Or are they just fear mongering? Come with the word about the love of God. God is saying at this time, call upon him. He will show you salvation even in times of trouble. He is there with you. Look at what happened to Stephen. Stephen was accused and he was facing death. But he could see Jesus. He could see in the next realm when that time came, even before they were stoning him. He could see what was going to happen. When we put our trust in the Lord, the Lord will give us the peace that we need to go through these tough times. He will give us the peace. The peace, he says, I, I give you is like no other. No other. And you know, I'm hearing a song right now that is saying, there is no greater love and than a man who would lay down his life for a friend. And you don't understand that. I'm, 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 the, 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 the song says, There is no greater love. There is no greater love than a man who would lay down his life for a friend. He spoke about God loving the world that he chose his only son so that whosoever believes in him won't perish but have everlasting life. What does perishing mean? And, and, and God is saying he wants you to take this word as a means of evangelizing. This is what we do when we evangelize and look on it in a positive way. This is a different type of evangelization, he says. What does perishing mean? Does it mean that the body alone perish or does it mean the body and the soul perish? God does not want your body and your soul to perish. Our bodies will be resurrected on that great day. But your soul perishing, your soul is the most valuable thing you have, says the Lord. He said, just turn. Make it right with the Lord in this time. Children of Jamaica. Because you see, there are people in Kingston who have relatives all over the country. When something happened to Kingston, the, 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 the life of the party, the city that don't sleep, there are people who are, who are, who are in the market 24-7. Something always happening in town. It will affect the rest of the country. And he's saying those in the West flooding as well in the West flooding as well in the west flooding as well in the west but because of where the earthquake is going to hit he says you're gonna have a greater impact in the east god wants the revival spirits to move out of our communities he says he says he wants that Pokomena spirit to come out of our communities and out of our homes. He says the only lamp he wants us to light is the lamp to Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world, he says. So if you're going to light any candle and sing any song, can't find your way back home, he says. You are going to do that to Jesus Christ the right way. Not using any traditional Lism or traditionalism, traditional practice, he says. I don't know what kind of judgment he's bringing to these people with some random scene, some rapid people right now. And I know that there are people who are of this faith. Not everybody is evil, but there are people are ingrained in, in things that they are taught through culture and through tradition. And if you grew up or your family join this church, you join the same church. But God is saying it's time for you to break away from that and for you to seek him yourself. Father, again, we pray for the people in Jamaica. And we pray for the people in Western Kingston. And we pray for the people along the coastline. And we pray for the people in Portmore, even now, mighty God. We pray, even now, mighty God, that you will show them 
yourself what it is mighty god that will happen i pray mighty god that as we sound the alarm even now to the north the south the east and the west of jamaica that people will hear hear your voice and that they will go on their knees and they will take that heart stance and say lord we repent mighty god for sins known and unknown lord we repent mighty god for idolatry lord we repent Repent for participating in homosexual practices. Lord, we repent, mighty God, for participating in perverse practices. Lord, we repent. We will turn, mighty God, because we are teaching the young people adverse ways. We are teaching them, mighty God, things that are not of you. Lord, we repent for the false doctrines that we are teaching people that is okay to live by the lust of the flesh. Oh, God, we repent, mighty Mighty God, because judgment is coming into the church. Judgment is coming into the false churches. Judgment is coming into those places that don't have my spirit. Judgment says the Lord, because I am sick and tired of what you're doing. You are making this a rebellious nation. And Jamaica is a nation that I love, says the Lord. I have blessed you with so many gifts and so many talents. I have blessed this people and I have bless this land and i have told people worldwide that who i bless no man curse i have told them that that they are a blessing to the world but you my people are cursing yourself and you are cursing your generations and you are cursing that which your ancestors had prayed so hard to get this country out of that which your ancestors have toiled so hard to come freedom that which your ancestors who were here in the days of slavery they prayed very hard to be freed to be emancipated from the spirit of oppression and you are bringing back oppression upon this land says the Lord will you be able to take oppression says the Lord will you be able to take it if the crown comes back and take a stronghold in this nation will you be able to take it if your leaders and prime ministers no longer have the capacity capacity to lead says the Lord will you be able to take it if this iron fist if an iron fist rules what I'm seeing is like in Daniel when Daniel spoke about this figure that he saw with with, with this head and bronze feet and all these things this is what I am seeing but whatever nation that this thing represent or nations he's talking about will rule with an iron fist. Have you paid attention to the treaties that you're a, you're a part of? Have you paid attention to the plan that you have? What is the plan that you have in a disaster? Who it is that has authority to intervene and to help? What are the agreements that this nation has? Who? Who will take control? Again, God is saying, righteousness exalted a nation. And God will allow our enemies, he says. Lord, Lord, are you sure you want me to say this? Who is it to Kinandarabandi? Who she? Mande kushe kindi. God says he will allow our spiritual enemies to put us in bondage if it's what we want. And it's not fair because the good will suffer for the bad. It's not fair. Spiritual bondage is evident when it is that people are experiencing famine they're experiencing inflation. The rules and the principles are so rigid that people don't have freedom. Spiritual bondage is in effect when negative policies, policies that are abhorred by the Lord, are being embraced by a nation that is considered to be Christian. Whatever spirit that is assigned whatever spirit that fuels these things that these superior nation want 
those spirits will affect your little nation he says we have to be careful open our eyes to the things that we are doing open our eyes oh lord the things that you're saying the little people the little people really don't have any say in what our leaders do but he's saying that the actions of the little people also affect the action of the leaders what the little people want the leaders will also do so if the little people want barabbas they will get barabbas instead of jesus what is it that the little people want do they want me said the lord or do they want the iron fist and i don't know what nation is the iron fist what is the iron fist lord he's talking about ruling strong ruling leadership that is superior to ours nations that are superior to ours come say they bearing gifts because they may want to get control we may be independent but in times of calamity we will need help says the lord what do we want we have to think carefully about what do we want lord i pray lord god that our leaders will say give me jesus and not barabbas lord god i pray that in times of trouble our leaders will turn to the bible and if it means that they need to turn on the plates and call for fasting like what those people in the scriptures did so that they can hear what it is that you want them to do then i pray that their discernment increase lord god and i pray that you will open their ears for them to hear and i pray that if their leaders lord god are being impacted by anything negative that those negative things be bound in the mighty name of jesus and that the ears of their leaders meaning their spiritual leaders their advisors will be opened so that the leaders of this nation will be doing what god wants done i pray for each church and for the church leader that they will be able to speak to the community and that they would have your word in them so they'll be properly able to direct the community as to what will happen if they don't give their life to jesus and if it is that something happens monday or sunday and their life is not right with the lord i pray mighty god that an excellent spirit come upon your leader lord god i pray an excellent spirit upon your prime minister lord i pray an excellent spirit upon your minister of finance lord i pray that even mighty god that this minister of finance that is leaving that he will still be able to help mighty god his colleagues and his nation lord god through the use of the spirit of wisdom lord god to come up with a plan that in case of an emergency that this nation will not sign over its rights mighty god for any negative things to happen to any superpower lord i pray lord god that they will establish that this is still a christian nation and that we will abide by the prayer in our national anthem eternal father bless our land guard us with thy mighty hand lord god keep us free from evil powers keep us free from people oh you god keep us free from evil powers do we mean what we say says the lord how can i keep you free from evil powers when you are inviting them onto the land be our light you countless hours am i the light of your life am i the light that you're using in parliament jesus is the light of the world but i am i the light that you're using to shine or are you using i'm seeing rapid are you using the candlelight and singing your song key and expecting that to lead and guide and direct you according to the spirit of the lord what light 
your prayer says to or thee does great defender my god grant truth true wisdom from above true wisdom come from above the father of lights grant true wisdom from above god is giving you wisdom through the words that he's speaking to his people the leaders in the community the members of parliament the councillors the people the prime minister the governor general wisdom come from above seek him justice truth be ours forever in this to be loved justice god is laughing we are trying to work on the justice system says the lord but there is just too much corruption and a lot of secrecy and a lot of it is he says a lot of things are happening because of the spirit of baphomet is there true justice in our nation said the lord true justice i will avenge my people says the lord i am a god of justice vengeance is mine i will repay i give justice says the lord but my leaders are expected to be fair they are expected to be honest they're expected to live righteously justice truth be ours forever do you know that this is a solemn oath if you don't want this oath in your nation then change the national anthem because if you expect me the lord thy god to hear your cries if you expect the lord thy god to bind up your wounds the wounds in this nation the infirmities of this nation he says to heal if you expect me the lord thy god to work miracles for you and trust me says jamaica need miracles then you will have to submit to my word and my will and my ways and my precepts and my principles, says the Lord. You have a role to play, people. Don't just sing the words because you know it. Do you mean what you are asking me? Righteousness exalted a nation. If it is that you mean what you say, then that mean I can do what I please. <laughs> and listen, says the Lord, I will be freeing some people. And who the Son said free is free indeed. I will be freeing people from the bondage and the traps and the snare of the enemy caused by the, the, the great enemy of this world. I will be freeing some people from the negative ne negativity that comes from living in a certain area. I will be freeing some people, says the Lord. I will be calling some people home, says the Lord. I will be calling some people home, says the Lord. I free in different ways. I will be freeing some people from the bondage of witchcraft, says the Lord. I will be freeing. And if some people think them can't run, they have another thing coming because I love my nation, Jamaica. Jamaica has been taken over, he says, by idolatry. And all of this, should I use the word, Lord? Because I see I use it in the Bible. Filthy says, that is what is coming up instead of sweet incense into the nostrils of the Lord. Filth is what he's smelling that is coming from the nation filth and as he says the filth is coming up what i am seeing is the cow god molek and he says we do too many child sacrifices and the incest that is the incense that is going up into the nose of molek your god he says is disparaging it's sick stomach 
I have to protect my children. I love my children. And look what you're doing to the children and to the innocent, to the weak and to the poor. Are you looking out for the poor? Are you looking out for the poor? The policies in the organizations are oppressive. Even in schools, it's oppressive. What do you think is happening to the teachers while they are fleeing the nation? It's because of the oppression that is in the schools and the onerous policies and expectations of the ministry and of the leaders. Why people are running and what is happening to my children? They are being affected, says the Lord. It is the cause of the witchcraft and the altars that are erected on the compound of these schools operating against the people make them feel as if they're in slavery with these big heavy burdens on their back why people are running from jamaica i am ashamed of you it is because we have allowed the witches and the warlocks to take control of territories instead of my people standing up for righteousness and fighting back why so many people are running leaving this nation that i love but God says some who are leaving are going to have to come back because they're going to have to come back to help rebuild the nation like Nehemiah and Zerubbabel says the Lord. Some who have left will come back. We need to introspect. What would we want for ourselves? And that's the thing God is saying. Some of the people who are coming up with these rules and these expectations and requirements, what they want, Instead of making it easier for the people when they're doing the systems and they're making it harder. They themselves had issues when they were at a lower level in the system. Some don't have any experience at all in the system to see what the people are going through. What are happening to what what what's happening to my teachers? What's happening to my schools? And people turn a blind eye. God is saying he's holding us accountable. So it's not just for idolatry, it's for the oppression that civil servants face and oppression that the people in the community and the nation face. And he's saying, contrary to what people believe, there are good leaders in Jamaica. And contrary to what's happening in social media and the negativity that is being spewed about some of the, the members in the cabinet, God is saying that there are members in cabinet who we don't even we, we, we won't even believe because of the gossip and the mix-up. He's saying who has his spirit and who he has given a spirit of excellence and who he has given the spirit of wisdom to lead. And all we do is fight against our leaders. And that is not right, says the Lord. We need to pray for our leaders and we need to pray for our nation. So God is even holding the people in the nation accountable too. Because he's saying we're not praying. We need to pray up our leaders and pray up our nation. And he's saying that the prime minister is in a pickle. Because leadership is not easy. It's not easy. And you want to know that while you're leading well, you want to know that the people are happy with what you're doing. But there is no way everybody's going to be happy. And there is no way that one person can, can, can be in control of so many different areas. And that's why he has put leaders over other areas in this country. But he's saying where he has gone wrong is in who they have as the spiritual leaders in this nation to give advice. He needs people who can hear from the Lord. And he himself has to be on the wall because of what is coming, he says, a time like no other. And, he, he, and, and I'm seeing our prime minister and he's saying he, he, he has a lot of passion and he has a lot of compassion. And I'm even seeing him in tears 
I don't know him personally. But he has a heart of compassion, he says. And he does say he have love for me, for God. But there comes confusion too with some things, especially with religion. And when it is that we love people and we want people to be satisfied with us. But God says, if we repent and if we continue to seek him, he will direct our path. Again, let us pray for our leaders, especially our prime minister. He says, help his heart. He will have a heavy heart, he says. We have to pray him up. Pray him up because I'm seeing him in grief. Pray him up. Pray up the prime minister because the decisions that he has to make not easy. The country is going to need help. He's going to need to know who it is to get help from. He's going to need to know what to do. So we pray that the Holy Spirit, mighty God, will help our prime minister. We pray that the Lord will send angels to speak to the prime minister. Yes, Lord, the real spiritual advisors that our prime minister need, Lord God, are those that come from you in the realm of the spirit, mighty God. I pray, Lord God, that any familiar spirit, any ancestral spirit, any spirit that is attached to government and to their party, that is a negative spirit that is not of you, that may be sent, Lord God, to speak into his ear, that that be bound in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I pray for a clearance, mighty God, of his spirit, Lord God. Because we know darkness and light cannot mix even now. And Lord, I thank you, Lord God, that I'm not seeing darkness surrounding our minister. I thank you, Lord God, that you still are protecting him and shielding him, mighty God, from the wolves, mighty God. I pray, Lord God, that the spirit of pride, Lord God, will be subdued as well. I pray, mighty God, that self will be slain as well. I pray, mighty God, that the enthusiasm that he has for politics, Lord God, will not take the place of you as his God. We pray, mighty God, for our prime minister, even now, mighty God, that his eyes will be open to things that he has not seen before, and that he will get new revelations, insights, and foresights, and ability to be able to lead like he has never led before in his life. I pray, mighty God, that you will put that spirit of prayer upon him and that he will pray like he has never prayed before in his life. I pray, mighty God, that his wife will stand with him in prayer, Jesus, and that she will also, mighty God, protect him and cover him, mighty God. I pray, mighty God, that the angels, Lord God, will stand God around their homes, around their children, even though, mighty God, around their extended family, mighty God. I pray, mighty God, in this time and season that every attachment to necromancy be severed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everything that tried to tap in the spirit, to get to the minds of people, to hear from, and to even suggest things. We decree and declare that is the spirit of necromancy we're talking about. We pray that it be severed, mighty God, from your people. Because it has affected so many people in this country. Lord God, we are not here for fame. We are here to do your work. We are here to praise you. We are here to intercede for the nation as you have said in day two. I pray, Lord God, that as we prepare to take our communion, Lord God, that you will sanctify, mighty God, our emblems, and you will sanctify us even now. And I pray, mighty God, that at this time, that Jamaica will take a prayer stance for you, and that we will avoid the distractions even now in this season, and we will turn down our plates, even if it is one meal for the day, to avoid that meal and go into prayer. 
and we will praise and worship you lord god and seek your face mighty god so that you will heal our land lord god i pray that people will throw out the things that they use in the gathering the freemasonry ring the witch cauldron throw out the portions mighty god the isle of this and the isle of that get rid of the flags that are being used to attract the fallen angels mighty god into the communities and into the churches and the things to oppress i pray mighty god that the ancestral spirits that have been risen up mighty god overcome to, 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 to take place and to cause mayhem and to oppress and to do work in communities mighty god in jamaica in on a whole that they will go back to sleep in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and that they will be locked down mighty god so that your people will be freed man the cassandra but we only need god we need god and his spirit we don't need to call forth anything let god do his work and he will call forth that which is needed if god wants ancestors to help he will bring the right ancestors to help because they are good ancestors and they are bad ancestors but we are using the bad ancestors to do our cultural practices god is saying namako sende darkness and light don't mix let god direct our path God is saying the spirit of divination in this nation must be cramped and paralyzed. And I don't know what spirit that is you're showing the Lord God. We are using the astral realm, he says, to tap in and to get too much information and use it to oppress as well. Sever yourself from astrology. Sever yourself, he says, from divination. He says we're even using marine witchcraft too. Jamaica needs to repent. And while there are many who are ignorant and don't know what I'm talking about, enough information is there on the internet for you to learn. Don't get mixed up with anything that is not of God. Enough is there. We are killing our brothers and sisters by putting the name in bottle and building all these different things. We used to call it superstition, but people are actually doing it. People are sacrificing people in the realm of the spirit so the person might not be physically dead, but their souls are trapped on altars all over the place, different soul fragments, holding down people, keeping them tied up in the realm of the spirit putting people under mental bondage, huh? letting people have all sorts of behavioral and mental issues and physical sickness, he says, putting physical sickness on people by witchcraft. Listen to me, people. God is saying he's going to be judging the idolaters, the witchcraft workers, the mediums who do negative things with the gift for them of. The soothsayers, he's saying, those who work divination and are coming and inviting people to come get their read up and them palm up. Those who feel as if they're so superior that God can't talk to them. God is giving this word and he's not giving it to one church. Where is the church? Who is the church? We are the church. But you see the different denominations and non-denominations. It's not everybody who say they're of God is of God. Ask God to show you what to do and where to go and who has my spirit. Come together as your church community. Come together as your family in the Lord. And continue to seek my face, says the Lord. Because if you are called by my name, Lord God, you will come in humility to seek me. And I will hear you. And I will exercise righteous judgment because I am a fair God and I see what happens in closed doors, behind closed doors. So God is saying that's it for today. This is ministry today. This is not just a little five minute word. This is ministry. So I'm going to have to send this out like as ministry, as like you go to church for your sermon or whatever. So, Lord, I thank you for the people on the line who have sacrificed, who have spent so much time. I thank you for those, Almighty God, who fasted, Lord, and who prayed for the nation today. We thank you for your words of encouragement, for teaching us about humility today. 
for teaching us about not opening doors even with the movie that just came out lord god to to keep ourselves covered and not opening doors to these negative elements that want to come inside our homes or into our hearts and to affect our minds and to keep us in bondage we thank you that you are a god of liberty you are the god of love light and truth and we thank you mighty god for loving this nation jamaica land we love so much so that you talk to your people man that about here and die and you will just tell them just how much you love them and that the greatest thing to have is your soul so choose jesus christ today he is the light of the world and to continue he says not just to pray for your prime minister but the elders the elders in the community the elders in the church the leaders at work continue to pray because many are being affected by the leaders on the job who are not of me said the lord too many too many mm, i'm actually seeing <clears throat> there, there are too many leaders who have negative energies negative spirit we call them which is our warlocks and so forth too many who are over the subordinates and making it very difficult for the people to work and to prosper and above all things god wants us to prosper and be of good help so let us continue to abide in him so we can prosper lord we pray for continued strength and we pray lord god that as we go through this 10 days season that acceleration will also come for your people who who need to achieve purpose that deliverance will also come mighty god for your people who need deliverance that healing will come for your people lord god who need healing that liberty mighty god freedom will come for those who are being oppressed lord god especially in the schools because i'm seeing some altars right now lord god i pray that you will send the angels now mighty god to destroy those altars at the schools and to free the children and the staff who are being oppressed even now we pray even now mighty god that things that have been planted against your people against the communities against your organizations and the infrastructures and the things in this nation that that which was planted be uprooted and that the roots be dried up be burnt by fire burnt to cinders in the mighty name of jesus we pray that every trap and snare that has been established against your people lord god that the trap and snare be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth lord god we pray that you will cover this ministry lord god cover every single member of the ministry lord god and we will continue to decree and declare to touch not the lord's anointed do his prophets no harm that word we we have established it we have decreed and declared it we will continue to decree and declare that offense be built around us even almighty god and that the lord will continue to honor his word above his very name and to protect his people from the sharks, mighty God, that are out there, Lord Jesus. From the wolves that are out there as well. And from those who do not want to see your people prosper. These mighty God, as I see Portmore, Lord God, I pray for strength for those who abide in Portmore. I pray, even almighty God, that you will raise up a leader in Portmore, Lord God, who you will show the same vision, Lord God. And then Namako and who will be able to even go in depth, mighty God, to tell the people what to do and show them what to do. And as I hear that we will need to go to Portmore, I pray, Lord God, that you will provide everything that is needed for us to go on that mission into Portmore. I pray, even Almighty God, for the strategy as well, Lord God. To be able to continue to intercede and to do what you want us to do, man. And we will decree and declare that it is well in the name of Jesus. And we will continue to decree and declare Deuteronomy 28, blessing over this nation. And we will continue to decree and declare that if the people don't want to hear what God is saying in Deuteronomy 28, that there is a consequence, blessing and cursing, we should choose blessing choose life so that your generation shall prosper i don't know about you who, are, who will be listening to this message later on but we will say here as for us and our household we will serve the lord we will serve the lord oh mighty god it may come at a price people may hate us 
People may not want to hear the word, but it is better to obey than to sacrifice. And God sees and knows all things. So we will continue to rely and trust in him. And we just pray that the Lord will see that you are doing the same if you are. And he will, that he will continue to cover you and bless you and your household as well. And that whatever needs it is that you have, that he will supply. So don't lose hope. Your hope is not in man. Your hope is not in things. Your hope is in Christ Jesus. Continue to keep your hope in him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's take communion, guys. <laughs>